I bought the Fonda the Sondra out today and I'm just riding these Chinese cranks but I've got to say this bike feels small compared to the full thrust Feels good though, just a bit bumpy chosen Clint to test these cranks out and this will be the final test for the cranks because if Clint doesn't destroy them nothing's going to you know I've take, taken it on fast routy descents drops a couple of days ago didn't film it but he even took it dirt jumping did a few gaps uh, a few big tabletops cased a few uh, and they're still good as gold so we'll see what Clint does to them. Cheers guys, thank you. Glorious, glorious view at the top of Clint Hills. Oh, loads of people around today. Loads of people. They're all driving here now. I think the government have said you can actually drive as long as you're, you're driving isn't as long as you exercise. That's a bit of a bullshit. But uh, anyway, from tour cranks. I've just climbed up the technical rooty section of Clint. Put some real pressure through the cranks. Let's have a look at them. So, no wiggle. No creaks, no cracks. All pretty good. So, I'm going to take him down a couple of the rootier sections of uh, Clint Hills now and uh, we'll see how they cope. Alright, here we go. Last few times I've done this, I've been on a full so I'm going to be really mindful. <laughs> That doesn't break it, cranks. Nothing else. <laughs> you cannot fly down here on a hot tail. You just don't have the grip like you do on a full stop. <laughs> Brilliant. I love hardtail so much. It's so much fun. We're if it was a choice between the two, I'd definitely choose a hardtail. But at the same time, there's no way you're going to get the times that you get down here on a full sus. No way, the full sus just gives you so much more compliance. But fun wise, hardtail every day. It can make the most monotonous trails seem exciting. But no wiggle, no damage. BB's not squeaking. So far, so good. Next trail, Enduro. It's a three and a half minute trail, or four minute trail. Of just pure downhill, uphill cranking. It's gonna be awesome. Back to the hard yard that skips out continuously. Break, 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 break here. There's a bend here, and there's a nasty tree coming up 
right in front of you so don't speed up too much yet. There's your treat. <laughs> right, pretty hot tail. This is a real pedally bit. We go right here. There's a tree around here. It's quite nasty. Just happens to be after those braking bumps, so it's quite dangerous. We go right here. Really gnarly off camber bit here. Into it. You see where people have gone off there. Boot a bit. Okay, this is where I almost died the other day. Let's try and jump over the roots. Oh, they smash over them like a horse off. There we go, route done. Right, just got off my ride. What can I say about these cranks? You're taking a chance, aren't you? Uh, obviously, they don't have like the British standards or the European standards that um, we're used to with Shimano, SRAM and FSA and things like that. But, I can't knock them. I cannot knock them. Taking them down to Clent, and uh, taking them down some real gnarly stuff like the full enduro which is like four minutes of roots and ruts and drops and tight turns and there's no wiggling them whatsoever there's no creaking and I probably had about 10 hours on the bike of hard riding if they were gonna fail that they would failed before now so you're gonna take a chance aren't you they're either gonna be a good set or you're gonna have a dodgy set but for 45 quid including bottom bracket and the bottom bracket I've got to say isn't squeaking isn't creaking they're pretty good so if you haven't got the budget for some big cranks and you're building a bike up I'd say buy a set 100% uh, they're gonna do until you can afford a better set I hope you enjoyed the review for these cranks go out and buy them <laughs>